say it's another one box day and I'm here in the legendary world of Piggy Open World. And today, I'm gonna get some guns and I'm gonna shoot some people. No, but really, this is a Piggy Open World and no, this is not a Georgie video, but I'm gonna give you a walkthrough through Open World and I'm gonna show you how to set up your character what the game's about and i'm going to show you a few secrets and how to find some of the rare guns in this game that's only one percent chance to find so make sure you leave a like subscribe to the channel turn on notification bell check out my links in the description join my group twitter and check out my ugc item in the store get your lucky clover hat today so first thing i'm going to show you before setup and everything i know everybody wants to see instead of making you wait until the end End of the video i'm going to show you exactly where you can find the smg gun right now first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to show you my inventory so so far i've found pretty much all the swords some of the basic items except for the regular fireman's axe there is a rare fireman's axe in this game but you'll easily find wrench shovel hammer bat and pickaxe pickaxe right now is my best weapon because it has damage of 25 and a cooldown of 1.6 and a stun of 0.5. The axe, I think, is just a little better. I'm going to go ahead and equip that. We're going to get through my bots and make our way over to where I know an actual SMG gun is laying right now. First update I think they should have as we're making our way over to the city is the fact that when you play player versus player, which you set up when you drop in on your settings tab, and you kill another player you actually don't get any XP and I don't know why the only way to earn XP in this game is through killing these bots is through these infected bots or another infected player without it being PvP okay you hit them once he kind of goes back and boom, you hit again, he's dead so that just gave me like 10 XP right there I'm about halfway to my next level which I should do by the end of this video first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna run to the city and we're going to go to the mall now I don't know why a giant wall is being erected around the city maybe there's uninfected people in there and they're trying to keep all the infected out this is the post apocalyptic world that mini tune has always been talking about that he has kind of strategized his games around all right, let's take care of Bunny. It's easy to kill these bots. You're gonna hit them once, back up. They're gonna turn away. You're gonna hit them twice, all right? If you stay there next to them, they're going to bite you. And then you're gonna be infected, all right? So you just wanna hit one, turn around, hit two. So as soon as you come into the city, you'll notice the mall walls right on the right. You also have the safe zone, which is the entire safe zone in here. And there's a lot of bots in the city. If you wanna get some major XP now, don't let get two or three up on you. Oh boy, I'm surrounded by four or five. First thing I'm gonna do, go into the mall, go to the first store, and boom, give me SMG give me right there. All right, now you have SMG, but you have no bullets. So you're gonna have to pick up the bullets, like random spots around the map. And right now I need to kind of get out of here because I have one too many bots. Please come up one at a time and boom, get hit. Boom, oh my God, they just bit me. They just bit me. And two. Uh, no, my God, I can't get away from him. Uh, there's one. Okay, got him, got him. Where's the other one? All right, uh, I need to separate these guys. I need to divide and conquer. Got one. Uh, okay, got two. Let's go down. No! What? Well, that's all right, because if you look at my backpack, boom, I still have the SMG. I'm going to equip that to space number one and... Ch -ch Say hello to my little friend! And that's how you get the SMG gun. There's also a lot more loot in City. And let's see if I'm ready to go to the store. Am I level 5 yet? Weapons! Okay, I'm level 5. The level 5 weapon is just the crowbar, which I already have one. Now, the SMG's power, I really like to see what this. Damage is 16, clip size 30. So you can collect 30 bullets for this. And the re reload is 2.5 seconds. So not really an automatic weapon if you think about it. 2.5 seconds between rounds is not very good. So I don't really think this is the best weapon he should have in this game. I'm hoping that uh, uh, there's a better weapon out there. I don't have the pistol yet. Maybe I can search and look for the pistol. And we'll see what the round and clip size is on the pistol compared to the SMG. 
But supposedly, if you think about it in guns perspective, an SMG would be better than a shotgun and a pistol. Right now, we know there are only three guns in the game. That is the SMG, the pistol, and the shotgun. But if you think about it, a 30 round clip size, if you put that on automatic, the reload should be more than 2.5 seconds. The reload should be about 0.02 seconds. All those 30 bullets that you said I can load, I have to find them individually. That kind of that kind of sucks, but uh, I guess that what makes the game. Now, updates I would like to actually see in this game. One, if you notice, walking from map to map, it's kind of a long trek. You know what I mean? It's a very long hike from map to map. But there are roads connecting each map. Please, Minitune, put cars in this. Okay, and not the trashy Sanford Sun junk collector cars that you have in map build. Okay, those cars are trash. We need like real cars, like a Tesla or maybe a Rolls Royce or something like a Ferrari. Something goes faster. They do have those VW bugs that are faster in other games. So I don't know why we got the really bad ones in Piggy, but I'm hoping. Um, Okay, I'm hoping that he's going to give us better cars because the cars right now that he's using in Piggy are really, really horrible. We need something faster because it takes literally five minutes to walk from one map to the other in this game, which is super annoying. The other update I like to see is that you get XP for player versus player. Right now, there is no XP for player versus player. It seems like it's going to take forever to level up, especially because the level ups now, I got to get 124 XP. Compared to only having get 90 and 60 before. So it really seems like it's going to take a long time to level up in this game. Especially if he starts adding new weapons and new bots. And you're going to want to level up fast. And if you can't level up, if you have to spend half your time in the map walking from one to other. And you get no XP from player to player. It seems like uh, it's going to take you years to level up in this game. Okay, what do we got here? We got some kind of glowing raccoon. Hey, take that. Oh, can I walk away? No, don't walk away. Also, if you want to get XP, the best map to go to get XP in this game is going to be Refinery. There are tons of bots over there. I mean, literally tons of bots. But don't approach them too fast. They will gang up on you, and you will die. You want to take them on one at a time, unless you got an SMG that is fully clipped out. That's the only reason I can see you. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to let the first one activate, and then I'm going to kill him. I'm going to hit him one time. He's going to walk away. No, no, he's going to kill me. Okay, and then the next one's going to come up. I'm going to strike on there. Oh, okay. That one almost killed me i am not infected yet i'm gonna just kind of creep up and let one at a time start coming at me the range on these bots are huge like they can detect you from a very long place away all right we're gonna take him and then we'll kill him again okay one bite shouldn't hurt me and we just kind of creep up and let the next bot kind of come my way now when you get the refinery uh loot is kind of good there's stuff in the cafeteria there's usually a bottle of water over here on the first bench. I might want to go ahead and grab that after this fight here. I'm going to take on Mr. Mousey. Boom. I'm going to walk away. He's going to walk away. And we're going to touch each other again. And boom. And I'm going to go over here. I think I got some food right here. I'm going to go ahead and pick up that food. And I'm going to go ahead and pick up this water in case I need it. All right. So when you first start the game, you have a settings button right here. You can hit the settings button. You can put on Survivor PvP either on or off. Okay. If you put it on, your name is going to appear red. And then everybody else that has the red name can kill you. And you can also kill them. But I would not suggest that yet if you're just grabbing loot. Because people will kill you. And your some of your loot, like your water and your food, drops on the ground after you die. And they can pick it up and steal it. So I would not recommend that just yet. Especially because you get no XP from killing any other player. Then you have melee lock on and off. That's pretty much it. That's on your settings. Then when you're going to drop in... It's going to give you your characters. You have three free slots as of right now. So it's like map build. You have three free slots that you start the game with, plus you can buy two more. Here, I don't think you can buy two more just yet. I'm sure he's going to add that. You can make a new character instead of making a new map. Here, you can make a new character. So we'll hit open slot, and we'll go to character builder. And let's select uh, a head. No rash. Donkey. Um, an elephant? No. Bear? Ooh, bear looks kind of cool. Foxy! Hey, <laughs> I'm foxing! Alright, I think I'll go with a fox. I kind of like the fox. Let's go with the shirts. You can get them kind of buff. You can make them a dress. 
A hoodie. Yeah, definitely a hoodie. Let's go to hoodie. Pants. Uh, shorts. Yeah, it kind of looks cool in shorts. Storm blue. You can change the color. Uh, green. No, that's that's kind of that's not good. All right, blue. All right, blue. Let me change the shirt color. Let me see. Shirt color white. Yeah, yeah, it looks better in white. He definitely looks better in white. Ooh, got hats. Uh, there is no hats yet. Okay, he has no hats and unavailable. All right, so soon we're gonna have a hat update. That's gonna be cool. All right, so I got a foxy here, and I'm gonna name him uh foxy. Okay, so you got foxy, and boom, and you just hit yes, and it'll take you into the game, and now you have your new character now the shop is the same you still have your level supplies oh wait there's a fifth level 15 supply drop oh i'm definitely hitting that so i can stock up on food now because i have coin and i have the level to do so so i can add food and i can add water clothing not updated yet i can't wait to see what kind of clothing i am going to come up with that's going to be pretty cool so if we look in here now i can just go ahead and equip uh the water now be careful when you equip the food and the water it's going to equip all five so if you keep hitting the the button you're going to end up drinking all five at one time maybe you don't want to so there we go and then i got my smg and i'm like Come on, boy. And that is my video for today. Thank you very much for watching. Hopefully, the instructions will help you out in this game. I have a lot of faith that this game is going to be huge as the updates come out. If he keeps updates coming, we get new items, new guns, new weapons. That is going to be really sick. And maybe someday a boss raid or a boss level would be really cool like just a random boss spawn that we can all fight as a group and as you get higher levels and better weapons you can carry your friends and help them level up as well there's another change to the update i would like to see when i was playing in my stream and i was killing a bot an infected bot i would hit him twice and i needed one more hit to kill him and get the xp points but somebody would come by and then they would kill him with one shot because I already lowered his health and they would get all the XP points. Now I don't think that's fair. Minitune, please change that so that anybody within a certain radius of a killed bot gets the XP points along with everybody else. So if a group of people go up, they fight some bots. Let's say me and four of my friends, we go up, we fight five bots. I hit all of them, maybe two, three times, but three of the other guys are actually got the kill shot. Only those three get the XP and I don't. When I was in the group fighting and I took damage, but I didn't get any XP. That doesn't seem very fair at all. So please change it so that when a group of people kill bots, anybody within a 20 block area of those bots gains the XP as well, or at least a portion of it. Because it's not fair to be in a fight, take damage, and then end up getting no XP just because you didn't make the last shot that killed the bot. I saw that earlier in the stream and I thought that was really weird. It should be more like Dungeon Quest everybody within the area or in the map area or within at least 10 to 20 blocks radius should get xp shared xp on kill bot so i hope you enjoyed my video that's my video for tonight make sure you leave a like subscribe turn on the notification bell and remember people stay lucky